Did you know that God's plan for your life is more than just getting you into heaven? Getting you into heaven is not the end game. If that were so, once you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, God would just snatch you right up to heaven. Accepting Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is only the foundation of Christianity, not the end game. Once you accept Jesus as Lord of your life, God can then, supernaturally, enable you to fulfill your purpose in life. You might be thinking, wait a minute, fulfill my purpose in life? I'm not even sure what my purpose in life is, and that's okay. In order to know and fulfill your purpose in life, you have to know your Creator. In other words, you cannot fulfill your purpose in life unless you have an intimate relationship with God. So today, I want to show you five keys to an intimate relationship with God by looking at a brief episode in the life of Moses. Here's a little background on our text. Moses is the leader of the nation of Israel. Israel has miraculously escaped from Pharaoh. And now Israel has assembled near Mount Sinai. Moses has gone up the mountain to talk with God. Moses said to the Lord, You have been telling me, lead these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. You have said, I know you by name, and you have found favor with me. If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways, so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. There are three significant revelations about Moses in this passage of Scripture. The first significant revelation is this. Moses has a purpose. His purpose is to lead the people of Israel. The second significant revelation is Moses has a dilemma. He knows God is going to send someone with him to provide supernatural help during the journey. But that someone has not shown up yet. The third significant revelation is Moses knew he could not successfully walk in his purpose, nor do well in dealing with his dilemma without having an intimate relationship with God. Has God ever asked you to do something? Have you ever had a hard time doing what God asked you to do? Do you want a deeper relationship with God? Today I want to show you five keys to an intimate relationship with God. Here's the first key. If I want a more intimate relationship with God, I must believe God exists. Anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists. It is impossible to have an intimate relationship with someone if you don't believe they exist. If I want a more intimate relationship with God, I must believe God exists. The second key is, if I want a more intimate relationship with God, I must seek God. The one who draws near to God must believe that He exists and that He rewards people who try to find Him. Notice the verse does not say, God rewards people who find Him. It says, God rewards people who try to find Him. He rewards those who diligently seek Him. It is impossible to find something you're not looking for. If I want to have a more intimate relationship with God, I must seek God. So, how do you seek God? I'm glad you asked. Here are three ways to seek God. You can seek God verbally. Talk to God. Let Him know that you want to know Him. That's the principle of prayer. You can also seek God mentally. That's when you constantly ask the following questions. Where is God in this situation? Where is God in this circumstance? What is God trying to teach me in this perplexing predicament? Where is God in this season of my life? If you ask these questions in life, it will change the way you view your life's challenges and empower you to rise above them. You can seek God spiritually. Start including in your diet the nutrients that enable your spirit to connect with God more effectively. Dedicate a small amount of time every day to reading and studying His Word. This is the principle of discipleship. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. You can seek God through prayer. You can seek God by having a proactive mental awareness of His presence. And you can seek God by reading and studying His Word. So in order to have an intimate relationship with God, I must believe God exists and I must seek God. Here's key number three. In order to have an intimate relationship with God, I must believe I will find Him. You can never give up in your search for God. You have to be passionately committed to finding God, and you cannot allow anything or anyone to make you give up on your search. 
Now, if you've ever lost your keys, you know exactly what I'm talking about. When you lose your keys, it seems like time stops. Nothing else matters. You find yourself looking for keys in places that keys have no business being. You're in the refrigerator, the freezer, the washing machine. You find yourself opening the microwave. You're determined to find those keys. You have to have that same tenacity when seeking God. Why? Because God is not going to make it easy for you to find him. God delights in concealing things. Scientists delight in discovering things. When you seek God, you have to be passionate about it. You have to be faithful in your seeking and never give up. In order to have a more intimate relationship with God, I must believe I will find him. So in order to have a more intimate relationship with God, I must believe God exists. I must seek God. And I must believe I will find him. Key number four. If I want to have a more intimate relationship with God, I must exercise humility as I seek God. It is not a coincidence that Moses had an intimate relationship with God. Moses was humble. Now Moses was a very humble man, more humble than anyone else on the face of the earth. If you want to have an intimate relationship with God, where God can tell you secrets in the night and provide you fresh revelation during the day, you must exercise humility as you seek Him. Here's a rule of thumb. Your journey to have a deeper relationship with God is not for social media consumption. Everyone does not need to know what you're doing to draw closer to God. You don't need to tell the entire world that you're fasting. You don't need to share the I got a check in the mail testimony all the time. Sometimes folk need to hear the story about when the car got repossessed. They need to hear how God got you through that difficult time and what you learned about managing your finances. Build a bridge. Your story can help someone. Humility gives us the power to be transparent with others, to let them know you're not the only one that is dealing with wage garnishments. You're not the only one dealing with marital problems. You're not the only one dealing with a miscarriage. You're not the only one dealing with sexual and or verbal abuse. You're not the only one dealing with finding it hard to fit in. You're not the only one dealing with the challenges and struggles of life. Sometimes we need to put down the pride and carry our cross of humility to help somebody along the way. In order to have a more intimate relationship with God, I must exercise humility as I seek God. So we've learned in order to have a more intimate relationship with God, I must believe God exists. I must seek God. I must believe I will find him. And I must exercise humility as I seek God. The fifth key is this. In order to have a more intimate relationship with God, I must believe God wants me to know him. Some of us are carrying so much guilt and shame that we don't really believe God wants us to get to know him. We have this false belief that we've done so much wrong that if we try to reach out to God, that he's going to get us. If God wanted to get you, you'd already be God. So why is God so merciful? Why is he giving us more time to live after all the mistakes we've made? I don't want your sacrifices. I want your love. I don't want your offerings. I want you to know me. God is telling us, I don't want you doing stuff for me. I want you to do stuff with me. He's saying, I don't want you to give me things. I want you to give me you. God wants you to know him. God has a plan and purpose for your life. He wants to use your life to help others know him. In order to do that effectively, you have to have an intimate relationship with God. That begins with accepting Jesus, the Son of God, as Lord and Savior, my sister, my brother. You have an address where you live. All roads do not lead to your address. Consequently, all roads do not lead to God. It is only through Jesus Christ that we can have an intimate relationship with Father God. Jesus said, I am the road also the truth, also the life. No one gets to the Father apart from me. If you want a more intimate relationship with God, just say this prayer in your mind or aloud. Repeat after me. God, I want to know you. Thank you for wanting to know me. I want to do my life with you. I know this is not possible without faith in Jesus, your only son who died for my sin. Jesus, I ask that you forgive me of my sin. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. You are the Son of God. 
I don't understand it all, but I want to learn more about you, Jesus, so I can have a deeper relationship with God. Help me to know you better, Jesus. Help me to know God better, Jesus. Thank you for hearing me, Lord. Thank you for accepting me into your kingdom. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, congratulations to you. You are now part of God's family, and you are on your way to a deeper, more intimate relationship with God. May God continue to prove himself strong on your behalf. Please hit that subscribe button to see more Christian content on this platform. Thank you so much for watching.